So, good day everybody. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm busy with YouTube for a while, and if you see my um, my logo that I have with my username, some people uh, ask me how I made it. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this blast light text thingy. Okay, first what I want to do is obviously make a new file, and I'm sorry if things go slow, I have a different microphone, which I don't really like that much as my old one. Anyway, uh, make sure you got a square. So first set this to pixels. You can do it at 500 by 500. I don't really like that because you can, well, scale things down every time you want to. But if you want to scale it up, it won't be as nice anymore. So I'm going to set this to 1200 by 1200. Uh, you can also give it a name. I'm gonna make this text YouTube. Typing with one hand here, so please forgive me. Okay, uh, I already see that I forgot one thing, doesn't really matter. Pre splash press the D on your uh, keyboard, and you will see that under here your colors will go to black and white. Now, you can select the paint bucket, but I'll always forget where it is hiding. There you go, with the gradient tool, just make it black. So now you get this um, square that is completely black. Next thing we're going to do is uh, select the text tool to make your text. Now set your colors back to uh, white again and type your text. I'm going for YouTube on this one and it's obviously way too small. The letter type that I'm using is impact and let's see what... Okay, and 60 points. That will do. You just move it off to the middle. It doesn't really matter because I got a nice little trick that I'm gonna show you. So just leave it where you uh, put it the first time. Now go to layer and rasterize. Then rasterize layer. Sorry. <laughs> Press Ctrl A. So select everything. Then copy and paste. And now you can see after you uh, rasterized it and you made a new layer, that you get a layer, but it's exactly centered. So this is my old layer, and this is the new. Now the old layer, select that please. Go to layer, delete layer, and click on layer. That's gone. You won't be needing that anymore. You can name this one YouTube again, just to keep things organized a little bit. So that's one. Now we're getting into the fun part. If you want to know that, do that. Uh, select layer YouTube. Then go to your uh, yes filters. Uh, I need to think here for a little bit. Just uh, this what it was. And then we go to polarize coordinates. Then you choose the lower one, polar to rectangular. Now, if you press OK, you will see that you get something like this. It's really weird. If you um, would turn the screen around, it would set U and then the other side U. It's just the same as before. Now, next thing we're going to do is another filter. So go back to filter and this time go to stylize. And there will be something like win. Please like this one. And we're going to take it from the right, just wind, press OK, and you'll get something like this. Now you can press Ctrl F again, and when you do this you will apply the same layer with the same settings again as before. So you can do it once, you can do it twice. Um, I think this is a little bit over the top, so I'm going to put it back one. Now you're going to filter again. Um, there. Stylize yet again, wind. This time, direction from the left. So you get the same effect, but from the other side. Press Ctrl F again, and you have something like this. Now we need to uh, rotate the complete canvas, so go to Image and Rotate Canvas. And you want to do it 90CV, which stands for 90 degrees clockwise. And you have it standing like this, and you can see here, right, it says U. Then this whole thing is the T and everything. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We go to filter, stylize, wind yet again. Getting the wind from the right this time. Control F, and you will see that the wind now goes from there to there. So this 
patch to the U is not completely empty. Press Ctrl F again if you want to. You can just play with it and see what it does. Now we have something really weird, and what we want to do is um, change the canvas back to normal. So rotate canvas now 90 degrees counterclockwise, and you have it back how you should have it. And for the next step, we're gonna um, get the polar back to normal. So we do that by going to filter, disord, and uh, let me search its polar coordinates, and then the upper one rectangular to polar. And then you can see we have YouTube, and it's getting something already. So now we get to the um, text tool yet again. Sorry, that's not the text tool. Um, type YouTube again, and everything is just the same because uh, the settings are the same. You got 60 points, and I'm still using Impact. Select text, uh, make it black this time. Press Enter, and move it just there when, where you want to have it. Now you can also use the same trick again, which I'm gonna do. So go to uh, Layer, Rasterize Layer. There you go. Control A, Control C, Control V. And there you go. You could see that mine was not completely in the middle, so I'm gonna delete the old one. Delete the layer. Yes. Now we're not quite there yet. I mean, this almost looks like it, but we just need to add a little more color to make it really work. Uh, I personally like something like red and blue. You get a nice neon light effect and everything. You saw that in my uh, name. <coughs> me, I'm just me. Okay, uh, all we need to do here is um, create a new layer. Uh, I like to work with shortcuts so I don't know exactly where everything is hidden in the uh, menus above here. So obviously layer, new, and then layer again. But I like to press Ctrl Shift N. It goes way faster. I'm gonna name this Color. So. Uh, we now get a color and what you want is to go to the gradient tool which is right here, it's the paint bucket and you select this right up here I don't know how it's called like radial gradient of course and you can add some colors uh, you, you can take like three different colors or something so I like to work from red to what shall we do Something like green, and then I go for blue. Now, just get it from the middle to something to the sides, and you will get something like this. Now, this is not the thing that you want to have. So, what you uh, are gonna do is double click it, or go right click and then blending mode, and change the blending mode to sorry out of the screen. Uh, to overlay and I need to search for that. There you are. And set to overlay and you can see that I don't really like it at this point. So I'm gonna change my um, gradient and remove the ugly green which I really don't like. I got something like purple. This is more like it. I uh, like it this way. I'm gonna leave it at this. You can save it whatever you want and um, well, this is a very very short thing to make and it looks just awesome. I also made some um, animated uh, GIFs of uh, GIFs of this. Looks really cool and uh, please show me your results, what you got out of it. Just experiment with it. If you uh, would apply the wind filter more, you can get a full circle and everything. So just, just see what it does. It's really fun to do and uh, keep on photoshopping.